The state of Texas filed a lawsuit in Emerald Federal Court against the U.S. Department of Education and the Biden administration over the expansion of Title IX, known as Final Rule. Thanks for joining us, everyone. On April 19th, the Department of Education released its final rule to, quote, fully effectuate Title IX's promise that no person experiences sex discrimination in federally funded education. Here our local force, Maya Clark, has details about that lawsuit, that story from your local election headquarters. According to the United States Department of Education, Title IX final ruling strengthens vital protections for students and provides clear rules to help schools meet Title IX obligations and eliminate sex discrimination. Provisions to Title IX include providing full protection from sex-based harassment, requiring schools to provide supportive measures to complainants and respondents, prohibiting discrimination against LGBTQI plus students, employees, and others, and protecting people from harm when they are separate or treated different based on sex in school and more. If schools fail to follow Title IX guidelines, they could lose federal funding. According to the lawsuit filed in Amarillo Federal Court this week, the state of Texas is asking the court to issue a preliminary and permanent injunctive relief prohibiting the department from interpreting or enforcing Title IX discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity by denying federal funding and from enforcing or relying on final rule against the state of Texas. The lawsuit claims the rule as an attempt to affect radical social change by the Biden administration and tell states and other regulated parties they must ignore ignore biological sex or face enforcement actions and the loss of federal education funding. It also claims final rule takes away safeguards set by the Trump administration to ensure students accused of harassment have access to a fair hearing. The lawsuit also alleges that Title IX does not apply to discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender identity. Texas Governor Greg Abbott also shared a letter he sent to President Joe Biden saying in part, quote, the law is based on the fundamental premise that there are only two sexes, male and female. You have rewritten Title IX to force schools to treat boys as if they were girls and to accept every student's self-declared gender identity. Abbott went on to say, quote, he is instructing Texas Education Agency to ignore your illegal dictate. The final rule is set to go into effect on August 1st. Schools and other entities that do not comply could lose federal funding. Live in studio, Maya Clark, Camera Local 4 News. Andy. Maya, thank you. Our digital reporter, Macy Weathers, has an in-depth report on what the lawsuit means in conjunction what is already in place under Title IX. You can read that right now at myhighplains.com.